All right, everybody. So the second slot of CAD 2025 has ended. And uh, here is an analysis of the entire slot. So uh, I hope you have gone through the first analysis as well. It was also similarly aired on YouTube. And this is the second part. So uh, the test was pretty standard, I would say. The number of questions uh, were the same as the last year's number of questions. So let me just run you through the basics. BRC had 24 questions. LRDI had the same 22 number of questions. QA had 22 questions. The exact look and feel of the last year's paper, that is CAT 2024's paper, was replicated here. In the first slot as well as in the second slot as well. You know the uh, rest of the things, 40, 40, 40 minute time limit, plus three, minus one. And yes, there were unusual number of TTAs, uh, that is type in questions, which were found in both first and second slot. Uh, this year. That was a minor change that I would want you to uh, notice. Moving forward, now uh, uh, minor changes with respect to previous year. Uh, we have Parajumbles uh, doing a re-entry. Parajumbles anyway used to be a part of our preparation. So uh, we had two Parajumbles, uh, two odd one out, two summary questions, two paragraph completion. And obviously we had the classic four RCs, four questions each. So uh, in my paper, I witnessed that uh, I had two RCs back to back and then some VA questions separated by some RCs and then some VA questions at the end. So I want to believe that the VA questions were not clubbed together in all the papers. They were shuffled only. So that is what uh, uh, that's how the paper was created. LRDI, we had five sets, uh, four questions, five questions each. That is what they also uh, announced in the initial uh, instructions before the paper as well. All the questions, all the sets had either four number of questions or five number of questions, right? That's about that's about number of questions. Now, the big part, that is exactly how difficult was it with respect to first lot and uh, with respect to the previous year paper. Well, uh, one sentence summary would be, this paper was found to be a little more difficult than the test paper of the previous slot, that is slot number one. If I have to put uh, a one particular number just to give you some data, we are expecting the 99 percentiles to be at 90 score in slot one, the morning slot. But in this slot, it should come down to roughly 83. You can take screenshot of this particular page, like entire recording would be available on YouTube anyway, but this probably is the page that matters more. These are our expected percentiles uh, the actual percentile might change by a little bit based on exactly how students have fared. But this is what we could uh, gather through our expert team and uh, uh, our discussion with lots of students. So uh, 99 percentile for VARC, we expect it to be at around 41 marks. LRDI should be at 30 marks. Quant should be at 28 marks. Quant was the toughest section out of the three sections this time as well. All right, moving forward. Uh, overall, I would say VARC was very similar to VARC of the first lot. Um, but you may have a difference of opinion depending on exactly which RC did you pick, which RC you did not pick. Because I could see some RCs being ex very easy, some RC being very difficult. So I want to believe that the selection of the RC would have also played a role. But overall, uh, the entire VARC section was pretty close to the VRC section of the first lot. However, LRDI section, end con section, were found to be little on the tougher side with respect to the slot of a, a very first slot. So overall, this particular slot uh, should uh, receive little less number of scores with respect to the first slot, and that will be taken care of during the scaling. I hope you are aware about the scaling process of CAT. Every year, after conclusion of all the three slots, they uh, use their algorithm to bring parity across the students who appear across different slots. So if a particular slot was found to be a little more difficult than a particular slot, then the students of uh, this particular slot will see some rise in their uh, scaled score with respect to raw score. Or the students of the first slot might see some drop uh, while calculating the scale score. So that will be taken care of. You don't need to be worried. You just need to perform with respect to students of your slot only. Overall, as I told you, this particular uh, slot was a little more difficult than the previous one. Moving to the verbal part. I personally found the first two RCs, the Tetrafist RC and the AI, Artificial Intelligence RC, really easy. They were welcoming students. The AI, Artificial Intelligence, is a topic that you we guys know. We, we, we read about it. We are in the AI era. So that was something that was a very uh, uh, student-friendly topic. The language is also nice. The overall RC and the questions were nice. 
at the same time once i finished the two rcs uh, i had to deal with two more rcs none of them was that easy to read or too easy to understand obviously that was uh, the third and fourth rc of the paper as well so a, a typical test taker would have lost some energy some momentum at the same time they were not moving that easily so depending on which rc you started with um uh, you might experience uh, you might judge this particular section dif uh, differently about uh, the va part that is non rc part i already shared that uh, each of the typical varieties found a share of two question two question two question each pretty standard you can see the mix of uh, easy moderate difficult here they were mostly easy and moderate only so va was a part in which you could have scored decent if you had practice enough for va that was all about ability section everybody all right fine dlr dlr section uh i found it to be a section that was obviously a little more difficult than the first one but it was a section that was a little more friendly to a person who is who has di as a strength right there were three sets of uh, di uh, out of five sets one was actually easy remaining two were difficult overall but if you had di as a strength and if you could if you could do number crunching percentage crunching ratio crunching very easily you might be able to get all three though they were difficult because there was some trap set equivalent to deductive reasoning somebody with good hold over di might be able to crack two to three sets out of them there was one set of uh, balls and hopes um, so we had to arrange them in a particular order once you understand the concept the entire set would not have needed more than i would say 6 minutes 7 minutes right but the set about uh, musicians uh, three mentors and uh, i believe four musicians who were being trained with them a b c d uh, that one was difficult you had to write a lot you had to tabulate a lot it was time consuming the pollution index uh, set especially uh, was calculative and complex in a nature that you had to take care of the range you had to take care of the percentages you had to ensure that the answer comes out to be an integer value as well there were so many uh, expectations some were obvious some were uh, understood uh, mathematically uh, to to take care of while solving this particular set author and number or number of book sets was a savior so ideally anybody should have everybody should have tried this particular set of author and number of books and balls uh, and holes overall the difficulty level of this particular section was little more difficult than the first lot obviously nobody has attempted both the paper so this particular verdict would be little debatable but when we talk to so many people uh, we want to believe that we have probably understood it right uh, this was little more difficult than the previous year as well although not as difficult as cat 2023 was right so this should result into a re reduction in the 99 percentile equivalent marks with respect to the first lot coming to quant part so quant was little weird uh, anybody who knew arithmetic well would be able to score nice and that is it paper did have algebra paper had questions of numbers geometry modern math everything but most of the questions of non arithmetic part were actually tricky not all of them obviously so i remember that one question of hexagon that was really doable if you know how to deal with it at the same time the circle question probably was not that easy right but the arithmetic almost every question of arithmetic was very inviting so anybody who had done a decent solving of arithmetic might be able to solve six questions if not six five questions out of eight questions of arithmetic uh, in relatively good time so this paper was not allowing this quant section was not allowing the takers to move that quickly actually uh you were you had complex questions of counting how many solutions are there maximum minimum those kind of questions were there which were actually making you think the entire packaging was very scary of those questions the function question the sequence series question they all were very uh tricky you could not see through the questions completely except for the questions of uh, arithmetic so this definitely makes this paper quant section more difficult than the quant section of previous year uh i want to believe all the three slots of last year uh, had a easier quant than the quant of this particular year but i would not still rate this quant 
as uh, more difficult quant than the cat 23 cat 23 had more difficult quant this was somewhere in between cat 23 and cat 24 a little more difficult than the slot one of today so we had eight questions of arithmetic algebra numbers geometry modern math they all had a fair share of uh, uh, the total syllabus here algebra came down to five questions in this particular slot CAT 2023 brought uh, eight questions of algebra in a single slot and that happened in two slot. So this year arithmetic is back with a bang, uh, declaring uh, its supremacy that the king is back on the ground. And I want to believe that although the quant was tricky, somebody who had sincerely solved arithmetic will be able to score good. So uh, having said that, back to the uh, predictive percentile, we believe that Roughly 30 score in LRDI is equivalent to 99 percentile because as I mentioned, there were two sets, uh, one of DI, one of LR, which were doable. I want to believe uh, they had four, uh, eight to nine questions collectively. For 99 percentile, one has to attempt roughly three sets in this field. On this uh, particular pitch, three sets were doable by somebody who aimed a 99 percentile. With a decent accuracy, a score of 30 should be equivalent to 99 percentile in this particular slot. For quant, as I told you, it was between CAT 23 and 24. A CAT 23 paper which saw 99 percentile fall to as low as 25, 26 marks. And uh, a CAT 24 paper which had 99 percentile of quant at roughly 35, 34, 36 marks. This was somewhere in between. And this particular slot was closer to CAT 23 then uh, CAT 24. So roughly 28 marks should be fine to get a 99 percentile. So if you have attempted roughly 12 questions and you expect 10 to be right, I believe you have hit the jackpot at 99 percentile. Right. Quite similarly, I can say if you have cracked three sets almost completely, you have got a 99 percentile there. And VARC, obviously you have to attempt a little more question. Traditionally, VARC has been the most scoring section in CAT and that uh, tradition has been continued in this particular slot as well as uh, both the slots of today's examination. Once again, these are uh, uh, initial estimates. We have final session tonight uh, in which we'll compile everything that we are collecting through our uh, students, through our mentors, and we'll be able to give you a better picture by today end of the day. Upcoming events, we want to believe that you are following uh, our events, uh, which are live analysis of each and every slots. We had a panel discussion as well of the previous slot, and you will join a panel uh, discussion about this particular slot as well in a few minutes. Uh, be part of that panel discussion in which you'll be able to uh, uh, ask questions and the panel will be able to answer those questions. The main oral analysis will be out at 9.30 p.m. Uh, that will give you the overall picture of all the three slots, and we'll be able to... Uh, tell you exactly which slot might see uh, a scale up, which slot might be able to see, uh, see a scale down uh, of the scores. And about the result, uh, see, the questions are not out, right? Uh, we have a feeling that we have attempted this particular set and you want to believe that they have gone right or wrong. So we would sincerely request you all to uh, have some breather for today's uh, rest of the day. From tomorrow, you should start preparing for admits. And uh, if history serves me right, you should be able to get your response key in three to seven days. Last year, I believe it was out in just four days. So as soon as the response key will be out, you'll be able to calculate your raw scores and then IMS uh, percentile predictor will uh, be made available. You can, uh, you should share your uh, uh, response PDF on the IMS predictor and you'll be able to get the percentile. Uh, th the way we did last year as well. So um, CAT has always been an, a very emotional experience. And if you are a first time CAT taker, you know what I mean. So it's over. Uh, your marks have been stored. There is no good way to check your marks today. Uh, there is no good way to predict your percentile perfectly. Although we do our best every year and more or less we hit the right uh, numbers. But still, we want you to uh, just uh, end the day on a high note that you have done your job and you should now focus on the rest of the examinations, right? You have mock and met, mock snap and other examinations waiting for you, right? I'll take some queries here.
if if there are any queries you can put it on youtube I can see that some students are actually upset. Uh, I would recommend you to not be upset. Many times, many students have witnessed that I attempted only six questions and got all six of them right. And in a difficult paper, a uh, difficult con section, getting six questions right is definitely a percentile more than 90, right? So I would go back to that page. If you have got six questions right in quant, you know exactly your percentile would be more than 90, right? So instead of unnecessarily drawing a darker picture of what can happen uh, in a worst case scenario. Let's just uh, uh, freeze the number of attempts for now and wait for the response fee. If there are any queries, I can take the queries. Otherwise, uh, we'll end the meeting. No, we won't be solving the questions. That won't be right. All right, fine, everybody. So uh, I would recommend you to uh, save your queries for our panel discussion, which will start uh, in a few minutes. 4.30 is the schedule time. You have the link already, right? And let's hope that uh, the slot to uh, see a scale up once the uh, scale scores are out, right? All the best, everybody. And be part of our next session.